Hi Facebook peeps. Hope your isolation is going okay. I've decided tonight to throw myself into a painting of Canadian singer Tara Lightfoot, singer-composer. So I saw her McMaster live last year, the year before, got her first album, and uh, I've got my pencil sketch done. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the process of how I create a picture. My goal with this one is to not be so meticulous and detail-oriented. I'm trying to get an immediate impression and try and get across some of Tara's personality. So wish me luck and I'll walk you along through some of the steps. So now that I've got the drawing on the canvas, I like to start with the darks first. For that, for flesh tones, I love burnt umber. Burnt umber is really popular for this age-old proven method. Beautiful for flesh tone shadows and deepening tones. I'm adding to that some ultramarine blue to help with the shadows in the background, make a difference between just the raw umber and this tends to make it look blacker. It can really get quite a convincing black if I use a lot of that. So that's my next step. Let's get the shadows in. Usually by then you've got a great roadmap to start playing with the colors. Let's go. Okay, so now that I've gotten some dark colors in, I can start to play with the color. And uh, I work with acrylic paints. They're very fast drying paints. <clears throat> I often have retarder to slow the paints down. In Terra's flesh tones, what I'm about to do, I want to be able to blend colors and take a little bit of time to do that. So I'll be using some of that in my paint mix. <clears throat> Greatest invention ever was wax paper. Don't know if you can see that, but this is my palette. And um, I have tons of them. I've got warm ones, I've got cool ones. I've got different greens, all kinds of greens, all kinds of different mixes. The best thing about it is that you find out what works, and you've got a record of what doesn't. So, I like to keep my, all my palettes, I have tons of them, and uh, it's very easy cleanup as well, which makes it great. So I'm excited about moving on to Tara's nice colors, and I'm going to start that now. Thanks for watching Painting Terra Lightfoot. If you like this video, please subscribe and visit my website, which is linked down below.